everyone, welcome back. So I thought we would chat about Papa Goo, what are you doing up there? Will you come back down to Mama? Our back to fall and school must have for a little preschooler dude. So whether your little is going into preschool, is daycare, is at home full time, I think there are fun little things to make that transition easier and more playful and more entertaining for them. Um, one is find a playful fun backpack. And it's not that they're going to carry anything in it. What did you find up there? But it's that they're going to have a routine. So when they want to go out and maybe it's a little cold and they want to put on their jacket, you have this reward for once they've got their shoes on and their scarf on and their jacket on, they're ready to go. They get the reward of the backpack. And then they can also, as they kind of understand it more and are good, and earn their awesome fun treats. They can put their treats for the playground or the park or a hike or a school or daycare in their bag. And it helps you get them ready in the morning because God knows getting out and dressed if we have to be somewhere. Else. You know, they have their own opinions on what's acceptable. <laughs> so find a fun backpack. If they can help you pick it out or if you really know what they want, just grab it, find it. You can get them at consignment stores, you can get them online, you can get them at your local big box stores, and it's just a fun thing that helps make kind of that back to school, back to getting on layers routine a little bit easier for, for mamas and little ones. And dads, in case you're getting your little ones. Mm -hmm. So a second one, I'm laughing because I hear a crazy beast coming down the stairs, I'll show you. <laughs> If you hear, you think, whoa, this is a weird music choice. It's just the general ambiance. <laughs> so a second thing you can do, yeah, is get those great little snack cups that are hard to pour over. And these are wonderful things for, you know, as you get back into a routine and you need to get things going on more of a schedule and maybe you've got to get older kids to school or you've got to send them off and they need a little snack and that motivates them and it keeps them from getting angry, hungry, hangry. Those are great and you can buy those at all sorts of kids spots, even some grocery stores in the baby kids section will have them. They're just plastic double handled little things and it's easy to grab one out but if you pour them upside down it's hard for them to come out. And you can pit, um, cut up graham cracker slices, you can pit goldfish crackers, you can pit triscuits in there, you can pit um, larger size nuts, little nuts will fall out though. And just fun dry food snacks can be wonderful. A third thing that I have discovered, and this has worked miracles, is getting sandwich cookie cutters. They look like cookie cutters, but they're plastic. Um, and you can use them for cookies as well. And they are in the shape of a sandwich with then cutouts like two little dolphins. And that just makes a huge difference. Two little mommy elephants. Hey, Bubba Goo, where'd you go? Bubba Goo. No, no, me. Location change because somebody ran off and I had to find him. But we found a giant slug that's trying to eat my plants. Mm-hmm. Hard enough to grow things in this climate. He doesn't? Oh, good. I'm glad. But the little sandwich cookie cutters make such a difference. And it makes them want to eat. And that can be for toast. It can be for sandwiches. Um, you can even use it as little presses for like mashed potatoes in the evening, uh, cut out their burgers, all sorts of things. Um, and it just it makes life easier. So those are kind of three really good, really handy. Yes, love. Of course. Mommy, you bring this whole I get that flag? Oh, well, I wouldn't recommend using your rooster um, hay hay to pick up the slug because it might get hay hay dirty. These are the questions you'll get asked as a parent. You're probably being asked them right now. <laughs> so until next time, I hope that sharing these are always helpful and useful. Whoa, oh thank you. Oh, you can use that, I guess. That's okay. <laughs> Feel free to check out all the links in the description box. I link all of my fun uh, home goodies and t-shirts and bags in my little shop. And I also list all of my books, which I would love if you go on Amazon and check those out. They are some of my favorites. I'm just picking it up rather delicately. Good job, little dude. <laughs> Until next time. Hey, thank y'all so much for following along and being a part of our little YouTube community, I think. Oh, dear God. Don't squash it, my love. It's pretty fun and honest and raw and hopefully helpful and sometimes funny. <laughs>